PSL players may be heroes on the field, inspiring youngsters and exciting crowds, but sometimes there is a dark secret behind their smile. For some players, indulging in alcohol could very well be a once-off, but it is a very slippery road for others. Welcome to Football Navigator as in this episode we take a look at players whose careers were ruined by the bottle. Tuka Loranti has recently signed for TTM having not played a single professional soccer game since October 2017. The player walked out on a lucrative contract in Turkey, citing that he was going home to a relative's funeral and the player never returned back to the team. The player then went on to sign for Mamelodi Sundowns where he left without playing a single game. Reports close to Football Navigator states that the player who has been practicing with the Bloemfontein Celtic failed to impress after lasting just five months and was put on a series of diet and training programs but the club insiders says that the player drank heavily. The player is also in a middle of a divorce which leaves Football Navigator to the conclusion that the player really needs a the bottle as his next best friend. Gabo Machangu was affectionately known as a Shuffle during his prime at Kaiser Chiefs during the 1999 to 2004 season. He was hailed as one of the greatest football players in South Africa. The former Kaiser Chiefs superstar has confessed that he grew up in a family of alcoholics where he witnessed his father beat up his mother. For him, alcohol was an escape and uh, a way to forget the trouble at home, but his escape road ended up being a crunch even when his life turned for the better, signing a lucrative contract with Kaiser Chiefs. Pule added that the cause of his alcohol addiction was the death of his mother in 2000. Jabu had the humanity to suggest that he hit rock bottom after a passing away. He is currently clean and sober, thank God, and his life took a turn for the better as he is now enjoying a successful career as a football analyst. Lirata Chabangu was a sought-after player in his heydays, playing for some of the country's biggest clubs as Mamelodi Sundowns and Morocco Saulus. The former Mamelodi Sundowns player confessed that I blew my money on useless things because I was guaranteed a salary the following month. The player said that we used to finish training at about 11 a.m. and thereafter you are free to go wherever you want. We will go to Sishanyama after training and chill over there for a few drinks and it became a habit. I have nothing left. Football is all I know and I hope there is someone out there who can give me another chance. I used to afford expensive things and when the Golf 5 came out, I bought it without thinking twice and as you know, women will always be there. But my main problem was booze. Mbolelo Mabizela Ojon was a no-nonsense defender during his prime at Orlando Pirates and as a player, his career was meant to reach greater heights in Europe. His quick feet, strength and composure turned into guzzling down bottles, stumbling over his steps and losing grip of his career. An overseas move to Tottenham also failed to change him as he indulged in his favorite beverages and other substances. Even during a camp with Bafana Bafana, the player went out and was later stripped of the captaincy. In December 2006, while playing for Mamelodi Sundowns, he received a six-month ban from the game after testing positive of drug offense. Following a number of disciplinary issues including a car accident as well as an arrest for drunk and driving in 2008, he was released by the club. Old John played for some of the biggest clubs in the game but his love for alcohol and drugs ruined his career. Lavas Muslala is the latest player to confess that he is a victim of alcohol. 
The player confessed to Football Navigator that I was always on the news for the wrong reasons. There was a time I was late for a sad house camp and I claimed that I was kidnapped. I took a gun and shot my techies. I claimed that I was shot by the kidnappers. My salary at Sundowns was 12000 from 5000 at Vest University. I also bought two similar BMWs, but people did not understand. I was buying for business. I wanted them to be hired for weddings. After I retired, I went broke after just three months. I didn't have anything, no money. These days, Lavas Mushala has turned his life around and is a cattle farmer who owns a soccer academy. Junior Kanye. In his debut season for Kaiser Chiefs, he went from earning 6,000 to 12,000 rands in a matter of 15 games. He became a household name and with fame and money and bad influences, he started hanging around people who carried guns and sold drugs. Alcohol and women was what he loved the most. <laughs> Junior Kanye has confessed that the issue of alcohol is a serious problem in South African football. He is a victim and he shared a little bit of stories. He said that he used to go to clubs and spend not less than 7,000 on booze and girls. The player also recalled a time where he went to a nightclub with six women and also his friends. He said that he would take women from Vest and UJ in Soweto and they would go to expensive clubs and buy booze for those ladies and spend up to 10000 to 15000 a night. Fortunately, Junior Kanye has had a second chance in life and he currently plays for Malati Chiefs working as a soccer analyst on Disky TV and running the Junior Kanye Foundation and now he will be on Muzanzi Way 2 in a drama series. Steve Chipa Likolea like his friend Jabupule, Chipa was hailed as the next big thing in Muzanzi football. During his peak at Orlando Pirates, he was a force to be reckoned with. The star played and enjoyed so much attention on the field, and he even made a song featuring Jason Number 10. He became so famous that the nightlife was what he was looking forward to every time. The player who wore jersey number 10 for Orlando Pirates spent most of his earnings on women and alcohol. He retired early at the age of 34 and currently is rumored to be broke. Thank you for watching this video until the end and please don't forget to subscribe if you are new to this channel and also share this video across all soccer fanatics.